Hi! Oh, shit. Welcome to episode three of the Vent Show. Three. Three. Three in that ass. Episode yes. three. Episode three. Episode three. Definitely yeah. episode three. Yeah. You know who I am? I'm EBA. AKA Satire. This is. Fox. Mothra. DB. The Dirty Bomber. So you probably wonder where we've been. You know, we put out episode one and talked all this big talk about episode two. And so the truth is, I had all of episode two shot and a, a chunk of it already edited. But we both had situations happen at the same time. There's a reason that we didn't get the episodes up like we like I planned. Believe me, we wanted to. We we didn't. It wasn't for lack of shooting or anything. So I'm sorry to both of the people who watched the show. So here's what happened. We went to Crystal's. Oh god, this guy and I. I love Crystal. Yeah, this motherfucker said, "Give me Crystal's no onions." For those of you who don't know, Crystal's is basically the southern version of White Castle. And if you don't have White Castle because you're outside the states, you never heard of it, then I'm very sorry. You're missing out on one of the true. Now, if you didn't know, you can't ask for crystals or White Castle hamburgers without onions. That's like saying that you want to get um, them without chemicals. Uh, they're made in onions. <laughs> There's no way to avoid it. All The only thing you can really do is, is get the texture. Remember when that girl actually gave us a scientific explanation as to why they're made with onions? Well, I could have told you that because I worked at Crystals long, 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 long time ago when I did fast food. So that's why I knew that. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, if you're if you're going to Crystals, you're asking for out onions because you think you're getting them without the onion taste. Ha <laughs> ha! You're an idiot. <laughs> Just like this guy. Basically, when we go out to eat, any place he goes, it's yeah. If it's nutritious, please remove it. Take off the lettuce, tomato, onions. Can you put more bad stuff on there? Is there any way you can like inject more bad stuff? If you could squirt cheese into the meat so that my burger could have cheese in the middle of it. And then put like a, you know, like a Luther burger on top of my burger. That's this motherfucker right here. That sounds really fucking good though, cheese inside uh, of your hamburger. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you're not familiar with White Castle or Crystals, they make these little tiny square gray hamburgers. They're very small. You order like 10 of them at a time. Which what we got, we got a sack of like five a piece, right? Yep. Wasn't it? And Imagine you have this big tube and you drop a golf ball through it. That's pretty much what eating crystals is like. Or eating White Castle, they just, they call them sliders. They slide right through you, like bam. And then that night, we both kind of became sick. Yeah. He kind of lived with it a little bit, but I was fucked up. And I mean like hardcore fucked up. Not little tiny wussy fucked up. Like I was Amy house fucked up. Yes. So, I was throwing up constantly. On Tuesday, May 20th, I was admitted to the hospital. Let me backtrack a bit. On Monday, I had lunch with this guy Is that right now? at McDonald's. That was pure convenience. I could have had something healthy, but I didn't. There it is. Later Which, on, I had crystals. Six of them, plus fries. They were awesome, and awesome is underlined. But the price was not worth it. I have MS, and we thought because I was having vertigo that that's what it was. I was having vertigo. Like normally I get vertigo over like a two or a three out of ten. It's it's kind of like whoosh whoosh whoosh. This vertigo, I was throwing up, and I can only lie on my right side. And I was throwing up every hour, like food poisoning. And I could only lie on the one side. And if I moved, so much as moved, and I didn't know that I had vertigo. I had no idea that it was as bad as it was. It was a ten. So this time, I got up around 1 o'clock, and I crashed the bookshelf. And it knocks up everywhere, and I feel like the world is tilted. Funhouse style, only not fun. And I careen like a pinball into the wall to the left, plant my face in the wall, dip my glasses, and this happens in a second, all of it. I don't even know what's going on, and maybe I can settle myself. <laughs> no. Luckily, my nose wasn't broken. I'm not sure how, but I and then got to my cell phone and crashed into bed uninjured and oh yes, something is definitely seriously wrong. And I didn't know what to do. I couldn't move. I thought it was crystals at first. Yeah. I was blaming crystals. In fact, now, even now, it's been months, but it's just talking about the idea of when crystals gross in the yeah, you fuck crystals. My vertigo at this point was turned up past 11, spinal tap style. 
nausea is like a high seven or eight, and if I lay on my right side, and only my right side is a tolerable five. Hours go by with no sleep, more vomiting. 7 a.m., I call my parents, we call the EMTs. They have this comical metal chair to get me downstairs. First, they had to put me on this, this special seat just to get me out of bed. Uh, they couldn't, oh, well, we've got to use the big one. I was like, just, just make the fat statement. Just say fat. Just say, this guy's a fucking fat ass, and we got to get the fat oh, shit, okay? Because they kept saying things, but they had these, you know, nice ways of saying, we have to get the, the alternate size, get the alternate size straps to this guy. It's a dreadful ride to the hospital. The parents don't say much, and I vomit every time I move. You know, I can't stand up. I can't sit up. And they're pumping me full of saline, and I feel like I have to pee, but I can't perform. Because I guess I can't pee lying down. Oh, no, I've never, never pissed myself except me when I was a baby. I was terribly dehydrated. I had lots of tests. I had no more vomit for a bit, various states of consciousness, uh, nausea was holding a steady 5. Vertigo goes down to an 8 or 9, but we're working on a 1 to 10 scale here with 10 being worse, so keep up here. Every single move results in vomit. And I'm admitted. They roll me into bed, and minutes after they admit me into bed, they put me into bed, I throw up. While Sean was going through his spell of nausea that night, I got home, you know, I was with them walking over at my house. I got home, I was just like, ugh. I feel like shit. So, I just laid in bed, I went to sleep, and I didn't really feel that much better. Because like the day that he was in the hospital, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna come up there and see you. And pretty much like all day, I kind of just laid in bed, like literally up until about 11 o'clock when I went to go eat with some friends. Cause like, laid in bed felt like for hours people were doing work out there outside of my home at the time. Like removing boards and shit like you that. You were hallucinating. Yeah, I was hallucinating. I was tripping balls. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But at one time I thought that there was bugs that were actually coming through the window, which may have been true. Anyway. Looks like it's a cassette. I got that one uh, from Miss Death Leopard. Is it pour some sugar on me? Yes, it's it. It's, 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 it's the single, of course, there it is. Is it Billy Ocean? Oh, nice! Look at you! You got an original way to the world! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> hey, I signed it. Did you sign that shit, Yeah, Billy? I signed it. That's cool. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought it was somebody when it was nobody. Oh my god. Love it that we're behind that brick wall. That's cool, man. I can't believe you have that. That's really cool. I have a digitized copy of it, so my question is, do you, do you, do you want this back? I'll take it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. Of course I want it. The question is, it's your group, it's your music, it's your cassette. Oh, I mean, I've got this on, like, MP3 and all that. Yeah, but there's physical... the relic, you know, this yeah. is, like, way more important. It is. So, for people who don't know, this guy right here used to be, he was in two groups, but this was the, the hip-hop group he was in, Shaft. Yeah. Simply having a fun and time. And you were the, you were the, done, no. I was the drummer. <laughs> no, no, what was your name? He was, uh, uh. Was Diesel Works. Diesel Works, that was it, Diesel Works. It Diesel Works. <laughs> Diesel for German and Works is also for German. What does Diesel mean? Diesel is fuel. Oh. Fuel for the fire. And so is it so Dunder was Dunder Chief. So it's actually Dunder Vex, is that correct? Dunder Vex, yes. <laughs> it was way before Dunder Mifflin, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> yeah. I started having a pain in my inner thigh. I thought that I had pulled a muscle because I was in a hurry to uh, get home and talk with my girlfriend at the time. You thought you pulled a muscle because you were going to see your girlfriend? Well, I, no, I was actually walking really, really Because I pulled a muscle going to see your girlfriend, let me tell you. Oh, you're such a jerk. We both got to ride an ambulance. Oh, yeah. They're not uh, I finally slept overnight, and the nausea was down to a three or four, and I could lie in different positions. And Omar materialized, apologized as is his way, and then left. <laughs> the nurses were pretty and hot. One was Hispanic, and the second one was Asian, and the Asian one gave me a urinary catheter. She, tell, uh, she tells me to lower my pants, and I, I do, and I'm just laying there, semi-coherent and sick, with my stuff all hanging out. And she could care less. She is clinical. She is, does like she's required. No personal comments. And she was just, you know, just... Okay, okay, so thank you. And then she left and I was just like, this is... She never had a catheter. I mean, just 
keep in mind that they are about twice the size of whatever they're going into. So, unless that's your fetish, which is that's a little fetish. Yeah, it's called sounding rhythm. Really. No, no, just stop, stop, stop. Unless that's your thing, I, you know, I, no, I, I we don't, we do don't not need, recommend. The we, Yelp rating would be very low. It is extremely uncomfortable, actually a bit painful, and they, they give you fluids every time. I've had one, they give me fluids, and you can do nothing but, but pee. That's all you can do. Like all your, every iota of your energy, every, um, Bit of your concentration, all your your, your your focus is now on strictly just urination. That's all you can put. Oh, wow. Nothing else. There could be like a midget, you know, on fire, riding like a unicorn through, a, uh, you know, a, like, like 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 a giant bacon fortress, screaming "Kawabunga!" It's just the Ninja Turtles, and you could not focus on that. Your all your thoughts are now on PDs. And what's really interesting is at the hospital. They don't know what the hell's wrong with me. My, my neurologist said when she was reading my doctor's report from the hospital that she said she could look at it and say, well, they didn't have a clue what was wrong with you. And so it turns out it was not MS, thankfully, because that would have been worse. Time they thought I had BPPV, which is where you have these ear crystals that break off, but I was wrong. I actually have an infection of the David Bowie called uh, labyrinthitis. <laughs> it's a real condition. It's, a, it's an ear inflammatory disease. It's caused permanent damage to your ear canals that control your balance. And so I'm actually uh, in the process of slowly regaining my ability to walk correctly. Now at the same time that this is going on, and I, go, I end up being hospitalized overnight, at the same time that I'm in the fucking hospital, now at the same time that I'm in the hospital, and I start texting this fool, he is in the same hospital, on a yeah. completely different floor. And we're sitting there texting each other in the hospital, like, oh, you doing? I'm doing okay. Oh, so how's your, your leg messed up? Oh, yeah, I can't. I, I've been thrown up constantly. I'll go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, I got in there. They didn't necessarily know what was going on. They started giving me antibiotics. And I, was just, I was just hanging out. They really never knew exactly what caused it, because it could have been anything from an ingrown hair. But there was, like, a pustule about, like, this big on the right side of my leg, but one of my scars from whenever I was attacked by a dog. I looked down at the back of my leg, like I feel something weird going on. Then there was a blister about like this thing around there, like that at first. It was like that big. The blister popped up, and then like as the day progressed, it got bigger. And it was like literally like about this thing around once it was done. Matter of fact, I had a friend of mine that wanted to pop it, was the end of offering me a hundred dollars. I should have done it. Anyway, at that time they were completely overbooked and I was literally laying pretty much on a stretcher for two days before I was actually got to a room. Not the experience I had, by the way. They rushed me in, put me down in, in a nice like room, yeller. and then they uh, got me to an actual hospital room. They were like, well, we're going to need to like look into your leg because you may have what's called necrotizing fasciitis, which that is where if you're bitten by certain spiders, they can actually cause for the actual tissue sticking on the inside of your leg. So, what the first thing that they did is actually did some x-rays on my leg and everything to see what was going on to see if there's any little pockets that were caused by that because with the, with the blister appearing, they thought that there was gases coming up out of my leg. So it was like my leg was farting and ballooning my skin. And then from there, I had a sonogram on my leg. I was, I was, you know, I'm so mature about all this. I asked the lady if she saw twins and all that other shit, but, because, like, how do you really react to the situation whenever someone is rubbing this thing with, like, with a glue on your leg? I was very mature about my ultrasound and asked the nurse if I had, if I had any young children on my leg. I'm sure that she never gets that joke. Oh, yeah. But basically what they were doing, they were afraid that I had a necrotizing fasciitis, which means that Basically, the tissue in the skin is deteriorating because it's due to like a fungal infection or or a spider bite. Because like, with certain spiders, like with the brown brown lacrosses, they do like close close do cause those type of uh, tasters, tonkers, brown tonkers. Let's get another name for some people. But 
<laughs> ding 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 ding! We have a winner! <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go take a brown top cruise. Well, the it's for some reason that the Dianetics, like the, the volcano. <laughs> yeah, it's coming to the volcano your bubble. <laughs> Basically, this is where Simon How many references can I make? When will you become one of us? We needed you all because we are strong. We're not alone, we are weaker on our own. Here with us, you must be. Take my hand, just trust me. I am gone, you will see. The devil comes when you sleep. myself so I couldn't, you know, I was fucked. We just didn't know, you know, was I going to have to live with them forever? Or were they going to have to find some sort of arrangements? Was I going to be on SSI? How long was I going to be out of work? All that stuff just kind of floating around with a completely unclear future as to what was going to go down. So, but I knew something was up when my mom said, came and she's like, so, we're thinking when are you going home? I was like, 
Wow. You're kind of blunt about it, aren't you? Okay. Uh, you were thinking about that, eh? Well, uh, uh, now? And then sure enough, two days later, I was home. I'm still on leave from work. I'm still not able to work. I just drove for the first time today and picked up this sad guy right here. And, um, yeah. Well, we'll see this is the amount of times that like, I really struggle with depression. I, um, I, I did too. I would actually get up and walk around some and just start crying because I just felt like this was just gonna, that it was not gonna end. Like I had gotten surgery done, they they left an incision about like this long, this wide, this long, but this wide, with it cut down so far into the tissue. Like I, right now on my yeah. leg, it looks like someone just took like a ice cream scoop and just scooped it out. Yeah. Because the, the tissue hasn't grown back in yet. They had to have a skin graft. Yeah, and then I had a skin graft on top of that, so. They tried to fire you? Yeah, they tried to fire me. That's my skin graft. Wow. I lost my ability to touch type. That was weird. Like, I, I can't touch type anymore. I did get work on my walker. You exhibit pin my walker. <laughs> and I've, you know, I've actually been doing it, you know, very slowly, but surely. I have a hard time focusing for long periods of time, which is one of the reasons it's taken me so long to get the amount of stuff that I have. This is going to be an Ouroboros, so the snake is going to connect. It's going to go see how it goes around. It's one big circle. So Ouroboros, that's the uh, snake that eats its own tail, so it's its own tail going in. And as you can see, I'm literally doing it 360 degrees. It's a challenge. It is a challenge in of itself on, on the walker. November 30, 77, yo, a child was born Cast from purgatory cause his lyrical style was wrong Managed to walk all amongst us and remain unseen On the island of St. Kitts and Caribbean Queen Miami to New York City where I perfected my skills Grew up on 90s hip-hop when MCs was ill Been nice since Bison was a Buffalo Bill Made you smell the Michael Jacks, Mozzarella DeVille <laughs> LMAO, JK, JK, it's about to go down, son Mayday, mayday, I put that smiley face on your chest Don't worry, be happy, lyrically Saying, saying all these whack ass MCs Been lyrical death to wish, man, they Charles like bronze Niggas be jamming the misfits, these hats, they scratching Come to the fourth quarter, man, yo, I'm John like Paxson Not to bash, these bitch ass niggas, I'm on some mashing Crashing grave to the size of Humonga, Kawabonga, Cash is playing, it's fine, but some cut like up a Last few days of demise, it's a stone cold stunner Papa was a rolling stone, and I'm a rolling thunder The birth of real hip hop, y'all welcome aboard The birth, hate it, I love it, a double-edged sword The birth, lyrically Insane man, psycho war. The clear didn't strangle your ass with the umbilical cord. Dirty boy, clean clothes, like pimps need hoes. Never even this yo. Shaq shooting free throws. I bet you're probably pissed though. More hate need those. Back for the first time, bro. As I'm swinging them, bro. Eh, 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 eh. You can't stop a lyrical juggernaut. This no make these adults swing. They cowboy beaver. Sit your ass on the rock chins. I'm sick like Unga. Conan, my boss, bury them old school like chalk rock. Hey, swole. Look at the fire rock on them. Don't know why for me, man. Oh, no, Oh, 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 oh
Um, I have this little book that I just fuck around in. I finished this. I need... This was done in Subway, so it says Subway. <laughs> and then up here it says, What up, Peros? It's got a little shout out to Peros. Down at the bottom, it's got Mothra, DB, Shao, Warner, Payasa, and Synthus. A little Synthus shout out right there. It says, Come on now, and oh, more on the 4th of July, because I actually finished it on the 4th of July while I was. Sitting, that's a whole other story. Wow, yeah, yeah. And then I got a, a, a pencil sketch started for the next one, which just says Mad. I saw the Mad Hatter. Not in real life, I mean, I saw him. In. The local theater company had done this really awesome steampunk puppet version of Alice in Wonderland, where they had a live action Alice, and then everything, everything else was played by puppets. They were steampunk versions of the puppets. And they were really well made. They were they were all made by the production team. Oh, that's it tight. Fucking amazing. Amazing job. I mean, like, I was just like, why is this is like way cooler than things you see in most places. I really wish I was able to see this thing. I'm almost finished with the Robocop piece. Oh God, that's like that's taking forever, but it's coming out so fucking good. I've gotten past Ballpoint Pen. I'm not, you know, Ballpoint Pen was just for Robocop and for uh, Ed 209 and the piece. Everything else in the background is uh, various shades of marker. I actually killed some markers making this. I Here's uh, something that I did a while back ago, about a week ago or so. Um, I have no idea where exactly this came from. I just decided to go with it and just let it flow. And then this is an actual Japanese mask that I did. Yeah, it's crying. And, uh, needless to say, I uh, had some personal situations come up and I was a little upset about it, so I drew a, drew a crying and with a... Uh, push, push. <laughs> Yeah. Your book smells fucking weird, dude. <laughs> this right here. In progress? Yeah, it's in progress. It's some, you know, I'm getting better with my letters. And uh, Also, while I was in Ohio, I did manage to scoop up two chick tracks. So I've got the Gunslinger and Fame. Wow. I'm gonna live forever. Fucking scary dog. I'm gonna learn how to fly. It's a character, and uh, the O is an eye with his eye coming out and everything into that. Uh, basically, a monster in love and some some nice letters and all that, jazz and all that nice stuff. Uh, this red skull and the ocean. So that's just I don't know. Just, that's what it is. So we got to talk about the shit that's happened to us. First off. We'd already recorded most of episode two of the show. And the reason it's been so long is because we've both been fucked up, basically. Yeah. And not the good kind of fucked up, where there's like a bong involved, the bad kind of fucked up, where you like go to the hospital and shit. So I'm gonna give you this. This is a canvas that I made for you. Oh, dude. Thanks, media. Yeah, I can definitely tell. This really does, this really does mean a lot to me. Because, like, it also kind of references some of the, uh, uh, one of my songs, actually. Does it? Yeah, when it talks about making mountains into... Oh, oh, okay. That was shows. totally accidental. You know what? Oh, no, no, I, I did that on purpose. <laughs> but also, like, take a moment to, uh... <laughs> Shout out to some of my friends, uh, like in uh, 1D4 rounds, they actually uh, put us out to some of their subscribers because they actually have a web comment. So, thanks for watching the video. Bye! Just made a, a blue tack cock. Let me let me see that just so we can show the camera. Here he's talking about a blister and, and this yeah, Ethan is thinking about a cock. He's a he made a smurf cock basically. Yeah. Okay. Here you go, Ethan. Play with it some more. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so